Hello, John Talley here with Boats.net. As you know, fuel and water, well, they just don't really mix well. So keeping them separated and keeping the fuel clean while you're out on the water is really important. Now to do that, your boat probably has two separate systems, a fuel water separator and a fuel filter. Now you need to know the difference between these two when you place your order. So if you're ready to learn more, let's go. Okay, so you've got a fuel filter and a fuel water separator set up on your particular boat. Now let's start with the first stop on the fuel's journey up to the motor, and that is the fuel water separator. Now how does this work? Well, the fuel pump draws fuel through the fuel line into the fuel water separator, and inside you're going to have two separate chambers. Now the first chamber works like a centrifuge, especially on your larger diesel boats, like a sport fishing boat that pull from the fuel pump and that causes the fuel to spin around and the water gets slung to the outside chamber because it's denser. Now that's typically what you're gonna find on your larger sport fishing boats. They're gonna have a diesel system where it has a send and return line and it has enough flow to create that vortex within the system. Now on your gas powered boats, it's gonna be a little bit different setup. So you need to make sure that you choose the correct fuel water separator. On a gasoline boat, the system is usually a little bit slow as far as its amount of fuel that's passing through the filter, so it really can't generate that centrifugal force. So the way they separate it is to actually have an area to where the water can drop out because it is denser than the fuel. So that allows it to collect at the bottom and then lets the fuel head on to the engine or the secondary fuel filter. Now, when you look at a filter like this, well, it looks like just a standard oil filter, but honestly, on the inside, what you're going to find is the filter part would go down to about here, and at the very bottom, well, that's completely open, and that allows a space for the water to drop out. Now, on this unit from Raycor, you can easily see the filter section, and then you can also see a clear bowl on the bottom, and that is meant to collect the water. Now this is not the type of setup that you'd want to use on an inboard application as the catch pan down at the bottom needs to be metal and not see-through like this, which is okay to use on an outboard application. Now once it enters into this type of fuel water separator, as I said, the water is going to drop out at the bottom either by gravity or by centrifugal force. From there, it keeps heading on toward the engine where it's going to find a secondary fuel filter, usually inside of the VST tank on an outboard application. Or on an inboard application, you will probably find one of these, which also is a secondary fuel filter as well as a water separator. So you've got two lines of defense, and that is not a bad thing at all. On a smaller outboard application, you're probably only going to see a filter like this because typically your tank is going to be removable and that lessens the likelihood that you're going to have condensation built up on the inside of it. But don't be fooled. If you've got a six gallon tank and you only have it half full, it's going to let in condensation from that vent on the side of it if you don't have it closed off. And you'd be amazed how much water can accumulate down at the bottom of that. So just be aware of it. And it's actually pretty easy to see. All you would need to do is just open up your tank and take a look down on the bottom. You'll actually be able to see the water down to at the bottom of the tank if there is any present. Now, finding the right fuel filter or fuel water separator that's attached to the engine, and that's pretty straightforward. You go to your make and the model engine, go to your fuel system to get your fuel filter part number. But the fuel water separator, that's a little bit different because it's technically not part of the engine. Now, what should you look for in a fuel water separator? The most important thing to consider is the flow rate of the fuel pump. If the flow rate on the fuel water separator is lower than the fuel rate on the pump, well, then the fuel water separator will end up inhibiting the fuel flow and your engine's performance. Now there's an argument out there that you don't even need a fuel water separator if you have removable fuel tanks from your boat. The thinking on that is most of the condensation in the fuel happens when the boat isn't running. So if you're removing the tanks and storing them, well, they should be safe. Well, surprise, surprise. Some fuel has water in it straight out of the pump at the gas station. So you may still want to consider a fuel water separator in place. And even if you're super vigilant, you can still get water through a breather vent or a fill cap. In the end, you can get a basic fuel water separator for about 20 bucks, so it may be worth it. 
Well, listen, if you need a fuel water separator or a fuel filter for your boat, why don't you come see us at boats.net and we can get you taken care of. Now, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the section below and I'll do my best to answer them. We just want to say thank you for shopping here with us at boats.net and we will see you in the next video. Y'all have a great day.